And finally for this week, we learn about Almeida Nelson, an influential teacher and missionary to the Bahamas. Here is Ashley Chisholm with This Week in Adventist History. On October 30th, 1914, 103 years ago this week, a dedicated teacher and Bible worker set sail from New York City aboard the steamer ship Vigilanca on her way to Nassau in the Bahamas. Almeida Nelson spent two years of fruitful service in the Bahamas, doing Bible work with the people and assisting the local church in active missionary work. Born in the U.S. state of Ohio in October 1875, Nelson was both product and provider of Adventist education. Her parents, John and Ann Hoey, moved the family to Mount Vernon, Ohio, in order to better educate their younger children and consecrate them to the Lord's service. This choice of John and Ann's resulted in at least three of their seven children, Alan, Stephen, and Almeida, working to spread the gospel. Almeida taught at several Adventist schools, including Emmanuel Missionary College, today's Andrews University. There she taught English language, literature, and German. In 1909, the year of this family photograph, Almeida was the editor of the Lake Union Herald, the first person in that position. She also conducted Bible work in the West Michigan Conference and, after the untimely death of her husband Fred, was called to go to the Bahamas. Unfortunately, Nelson's service in the mission field came at the cost of her health. After a little over a decade of trying to regain it, Almeida Hoey Nelson died August 31, 1929, at the age of 54. The work Nelson did, however, still lives on today. Fifty-nine churches and over 20,000 members comprise the North and South Bahamas conferences. The Lake Union Herald is printed monthly, and students still fill the halls of Andrews University. Nelson's short life of service and her parents' decision for her to have an Adventist education are a reminder that our choices for serving God today can have profound effects on everyone's future. That was This Week in Adventist History.